It has been a crazy day in pop culture news. First off, Stan Lee, the legendary Stan the Man Lee, uh, creator of Marvel Comics, has passed away today at the age of 95. And as heartbreaking as this news is, we have to all remember that he will live on forever. Like, he will never truly die because of all the iconic characters that he's created, all these massive worlds, these huge stories, uh, the, all the greatest cameos in Hollywood. His legend will outlive all of us. So rest in peace, Dan. Uh, we, will, we will continue to enjoy what you've created and what you've started um, forever. And secondly on the news, something a little happier than that, the Toy Story 2 trailer came out today. And I gotta say, I wasn't overly thrilled with it. Uh, I didn't hate it. I just, it was kind of like, okay, and they're all like la la, tra la la ing hand to hand, all our favorite characters. And then there's this weird, creep, freaky craft character at the end, Forky. And I'm like, okay, so <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on in that version of the trailer. It was, a, it had a funny ending to it, but it just, it didn't like make me go, oh, I can't wait to see this movie. Like normally it does with Pixar. So it was only okay. Uh, but lastly, the Detective Pikachu trailer dropped and I have been psyched for this for a while because I have been scratching, this is what they call it, scratching. I've been doing the temporary audio for Mr. Ryan Reynolds himself for Detective Pikachu, which has been a fantastic gig for me. So it, it's temporary audio, so none of you guys will ever see it. If, if, any, if any of you actually get to see the screening of the film, you might hear me in it. Uh, I definitely did like the intro voice, the movie trailer voice for the intro, like this is not the finished version of the film, blah, 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 that was me. And a couple other little temp voices here and there, like there's a news guy or something else. Um, but yeah, just getting to go to Legendary Pictures and see all the cool stuff. And, like, getting to see the behind the scenes and getting to see, like, unfinished special effects with the green screens and the little Pikachu puppet thing that they used to make sure that everybody's looking in there. I mean, it was just such a cool job, you know what I mean? And getting to fill in for Ryan Reynolds is always a good day. So, uh, a little tidbit you guys probably did not know. And no, most people will never, ever hear it, but I thought it was an amazing job, and I really enjoyed doing that. And I can say, based on what, I can, what I've seen, without actually breaking anything non-disclosure related, that I am really psyched for this movie. It's going to be funny, it's going to be entertaining, it's going to have a lot of great action, a lot of cool scenes in it, and it's got Ryan Reynolds' great comedic timing and delivery. It's, it's going to be a fun movie, and, and it's, it's age-appropriate enough where pretty much anybody of any age can appreciate this. You do not have to be a hardcore Pokemon fan to enjoy it. It will be a great movie just for regular movie fans who don't really love Pokemon as much. My kids are going to be psyched for it. It's only got a little bit of language in it that I know of. So, I mean, it's very, very mild. Um, there's no gore and guts and, you know, any of that kind of stuff. So it's, it's going to be a PG film, I would assume. And I think that anybody would be able to appreciate it. So I'm psyched. So go check out that trailer because it looks freaking fantastic. And I know I have slacked on making YouTube content lately. That's because my voiceover career has just kind of exploded and I've just been so stinking busy. I'm actually working on an on-camera thing for a live action film as well as a ton of other voice jobs that are going on. So if you want to see my thoughts on trailers and movies and shows, you got to go to Stardust. I know you've heard me preach about Stardust before, but join the Stardust app. It's available for Android. It's available for uh, iOS and I do daily videos there. They're so much easier to do. It's like Instagram style, you know, meets YouTube style. So it's short, concise to the point. I have a lot of fun doing different ways of, of talking about a movie or a trailer. Sometimes I do the character or the actor talking about their own thing. Sometimes I just do random vlog stuff like this. And sometimes I just post, you know, some random whatever. But I do post every single day, and you should go check it out right now. The link's are in the bio, along with all my other stuff. I'm pretty active on Instagram and Stardust. And YouTube just takes more time and effort, and I've just been too busy to do it. But I will get back to it, because i got to make videos with all this stuff and all this stuff. And then more stuff that you guys don't even know about yet. So make sure you click the, the, the link in the description and check out all my social stuff. Because YouTube is fighting me. Oh, oh. Every single time I post something, it's like, no, this is my video. Or no, you can't use that. It's copyright. I'm like, it's me talking to a camera. Like, there's not even any music. What do you got to claim? There ain't nothing. It's just me. This is my video. Gosh dang it. So, yeah. Until I can... Until YouTube finally fixes YouTube, I will be a lot more active on other social sites. So we'll see you when we see you. Thank you. Subscribe, like, and all the things.